Good day, muffins. Today we're gonna do something different from the regular doodles. Today we're gonna code something satisfying to watch. We will build a gravity simulator that runs in the web browser with GPU acceleration. First, to simulate gravity, we'll need to know how gravity works. Gravity is a fundamental force that dictates the behavior of anything that has mass. The force of gravity between any two entity at any moment is equal and directed towards each other, and it can be given by this equation. Where m1 and m2 are the masses of the two entities, r is the distance between them, and g is the constant of gravity. In the real-life server, it has this value. But in our code, it can be any reasonable value and it will still work. Thus, in any moment, the total force acting on an entity is just the vector sum of the gravitational force applied to it from every other entity. And since force equals mass times acceleration, the entity will have an acceleration equal to the force calculated above divided by its mass. We'll do our simulation in a discrete time system with 40 ticks per second meaning that every 40th of a second, the code will calculate the force on each particle, update their acceleration, then use the acceleration to update their current velocity, then use the current velocity to update their position. Then repeat this as many steps as needed, and you get yourself a smooth simulation. An accurate simulation will require calculating the forces between every pair of particles, thus we'll need about n square calculations. It's all right with say 50 items, but if we have 20,000, the time needed is the square of that, making it very large and impossible to compute in real time. Luckily, we can speed that up using GPU programming, and our friends at GPU.js have simplified that into JS functions and classes for us. A GPU kernel is a piece of code that you can load onto the GPU to run parallelly. For example, if you want to add two very large vectors, in traditional coding, you will need to add the components one by one. But with GPU programming, we can make a GPU kernel that will calculate the sum of one pair of elements, and it will be run on many cores, one for each element, all at the same time. Using the same idea, we can make a kernel that calculates the sum of the forces acting on one entity, given the position and masses of all entities. Now, even assuming the GPU is 100 times slower, the kernel will still be faster when we have more than 100 items, since 100 times n is smaller than n squared, if n is far greater than 100. Then in each tick, we'll call the kernel function with the current state of the universe as input, get the array of forces and use it to update the particle's velocity and position. Finally, render it to the screen by drawing on the canvas. I also added functions to pan around the space by dragging and zooming in and out by scrolling. And we're done! Magnificence. You can try it yourself with the link in the description. The code itself is also open source and downloadable from my GitHub. Feel free to experiment with it. And that's all. If you liked the video, please leave a like. If you don't, please leave a comment telling me how I can improve. And subscribe if you want to see more. See you nada.